Hello my ADHD kitties. Today we're taking another journey to the world of fractions. It's not very nice there, but the trip will be quick. Can I hear a... Oh, brother. So here we go. It's note taking time. There are three rules that you need to keep in mind or... Yeah, that you need to keep in mind as far as getting through this quick, 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 quick video. The first one is the parentheses are required. In the adding and subtracting video, I said that it's a good idea for you to put the parentheses in. But this time, it's not a good idea. They are mandatory. Second little ditty over here is how to turn a decimal into a fraction on a Texas Instrument calculator. That is math, enter, enter. So if you have a Texas Instrument calculator, go ahead and write that down. Our third one on there is for a Casio calculator, which is S double arrow D. If you have a calculator other than those two, Leave me a comment below and I'll let you know how to take care of it. Write it down. If you didn't write it down, pause and write it down now. It's going to be fast. One third times three twelfths. That's what we've got. So basically, you know what to do. Put a parentheses, then one divided by three times parentheses, three divided by twelve. So you're just taking that fraction and turning it into a division problem. But make sure that you have the parentheses in there because now multiplication and division, you're going to have some issues if you don't. So you put that into the calculator, and so make sure you don't clear it. Hang on, let me make sure I'm writing down the right numbers here. Oh, great. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. And then you're going to press math, enter, enter, or S double arrow D, and you're going to get 1 12th. And that's it. That is how you multiply fractions. Okay, so this time we have a division problem, but the process remains the same. So you're going to put a parentheses in there and then 27 divided by 50 and then divided by 37 divided by 44, but make sure that you put the parentheses in there. So really fast, type that in your calculator. And then math, enter, enter. And it's a big one. 594 over 925. So you want to make sure that you put those parentheses in. And I know that this seems really easy, but we're going to do two more problems and you're going to do them by yourself. And so basically it's just for practice and making sure that you have the parentheses in because we're not going to go through the steps. Just find the answers on your own. Okay, here we go. 16 over 34 times 5 over 7. Work it out. Did you get it? If not, go back and double check those parentheses. The answer is 40 over 119. Last one. Just 
just 11. So that's it. Another fraction skill mastered. Keep in mind, these guys can only come to the party if they're wearing parentheses. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, please remember that Edie loves math, even if you don't. Ciao!